Hello everybody, this is Math with Josh. I'm Joshua Phillips. If you're interested in online math tutoring, you can contact me wherever you see this. I'm at facebook.com slash mathwithjosh. I'm going to try and work out this puzzle that just popped up for me. It is framed as a grade school problem that is challenging Chinese students. Yeah, that's, that's what they're calling it. Okay. So we're going to try and solve this problem. And the question is, let's see if I can find my text box. We want to know how tall is this table? So but both tables are meant to be the same table. The idea we're given is that if the cat is sitting on top of the table, the distance from the top of the cat to the top of the turtle here is 170 centimeters. And that if the turtle was sitting on top of the table and the cat was sitting on the floor, the gap from the top of the turtle to the bottom of the cat is 130. Please do not make fun of my drawing too much. Um, okay. So what I'm, I'm going to use, by the way, this is, a, this is a bad design problem in that table and turtle both start with the same letter. So that's slightly inconvenient. Um, so the way I view this problem is that we have the height, which is the table's height, plus the cat sitting on top of it. I'm going to use capital T for the table. So we have the table height plus the cat's height is equal to the turtle's height. I'm going to use a lower letter, lowercase t for, plus 170. Because we see that the turtle plus 170 up gets us to the same place as the table with the cat sitting on top of it. And secondly, the second equation here is that over on the right side, the table height plus the turtle's height equals the cat's height plus 130. So we're given these two equations, and we're trying to see if we can derive how tall the table is. Well, I think the simplest way to solve this is to realize that when you have two equations, and there, there are some constraints on this I won't talk about right now. If we have these two equations that are just sums, what we want to do is we can actually add or subtract the equations and we can move things around a little bit first. So what I'm going to do, okay, so this top equation, I'm going to subtract C from both sides and subtract lowercase t from both sides. So we will end up with, I'm skipping exactly how the algebra is done, but if we subtract a C from both sides of the first equation and subtract a lowercase t, we end up with capital T minus lowercase t equals negative C plus 170. And then, let's see, how do I move things a little bit? Okay. Okay. So we're just going to copy the second equation over. Remember that capital T plus C plus 130. And the thing we're allowed to do, so we move some things over to make the first equation line up in a way we wanted. I'm just going to add these two equations together, which is something you can do. Um, and when I add them, what we'll end up with is we have 2t, I'm just going to say plus 0 so you see what happened to the lowercase t, equals negative c plus c is 0, plus 300. Then the next step, if we just simplify this a little bit, is we're going to get that we're going to get that 2t equals 300 
and then we'll get that T equals 150. And if you remember capital T, that was our table height we were looking for. So in this case, we won't need to do any additional steps. Um, I believe if we go back here, you could try and plug that in to get the height of your animals. I'm not quite sure you can find them. Um, but it's just a nice little work. Um, the main idea being that if you can get two different equations that describe something, you are in fact allowed to add equations together. And in this case, the components are very compatible, which lets us get a good solution. So once again, uh, this is Math with Josh. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.